Hey everybody, I had a little scare tonight. So, in this episode of My Neck of the Woods, uh, it's a little bit of an update video and a kind of an opportunistic video. So, it's uh, 12.30 at night, or in the morning I should say. I would go use the restroom, and this little feather scurried across the floor and kind of scared me. Yeah, well, it startled me. Man, it startled me. Well, I heard, got him. I used uh, this net right here. Uh, there. Like a fish, like I use for fish. And so I picked him up. I haven't really looked at him yet. I just got him in the container. So let's have a. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's feisty. Quick peek. White. Black with a kind of a neat white pattern on him. I haven't looked him up yet, but I will by the end of the video. So you guys know what he is. And right now, I'm just trying to get a container together because that one's a little too small for him to be in. And these are temporary, some poor containers, until I can get my ones I've ordered through Amazon. Because I went around my local area and there isn't really much of a reptile or exotic pet supply place around here. There's a, a pet value right down the road, which isn't horrible, but they don't really have anything for little critters. They have one little container thing. So we get some of this uh, coconut shavings in here. Not a whole lot, just a little bit, so it's nice and soft. Make sure these big, bigger chunks are grounded up. Uh, you can't see well. Let me turn the light over. Here we go. Hopefully that's yeah, there you go. that's good. A uh, little bit bigger chunks are not too bad. I have a big old bag of this stuff that I've been using. That's at least what I've I've seen from other people on the interwebs and YubiTube. So. There we go. Just a little bit in there, not too much. This will be a temporary housing for the little critter. And I'm pretty sure he can crawl up the wall, so I don't want to make it too big for him to be able, him or her, I have no idea, to crawl out. But right now, we're going to name it Spooky because it scared the poop out of me. And it's also black with a white looking thing on its back, which is pretty neat. But, so we have an old dollhouse laying around. And I've taken some of the things off here to kind of build a little, say, a little fort, a little hiding thing for this. I'm going to pretty much just stack these on the edge here carefully, hopefully, like that, to give it somewhere we can hide and kind of disappear if I wanted to. But also, I got to remember, this is also kind of building a ramp for it, so I'd be careful with that too. So put one over there if it wants to venture that way. One on this side. And again, this is all temporary. Nothing is, and hopefully, if I move this thing, I'll put these in first before I add a little bit more of the coconut stuff in here. The coconut shavings. I just want to kind of pack it around the side there. It's like packing it. Per se. And this Tupperwares aren't the greatest. They're very flimsy, flimsy, but they're like five bucks at the store, so for a whole thing of them. Kind of push down, pack it in a little bit. Get it around there. So there's a place where I can go hide and feel comfortable. I got air holes in it. I got all sorts of other stuff I could have thrown in there, but I haven't really used those yet. And there we go. There's a nice little, little habitat for it for now until I get something made up for it. And then figure out what it is and what it needs. And oh, there they get jazz. So let me get the lid ready. And I'll carefully. Right, slide it in. You guys can kind of see. Okay. Come on. There you go. There you go. It kind of fell, but yep, it can crawl up the walls. That's peachy. But it did go pretty much straight to that little burrow I made for it. There we go. Let me uh, have my camera hooked up to a little tripod here. So here we go. Let's get eye level with it. And there he, she is. Focus. There we go. Let me get back over here in the light so you can hopefully see. Let me unmount my camera. Sorry for the shakiness. I know, horrible. There we go. There's a good shot of the underbelly of this thing. Oh, the camera don't want to focus now. Well, my battery's about dead, might be why. There it goes. Good 
good shot of underneath of it. And size reference of this puppy. So I forget to move, but uh, let me do some research and I'll tell you what it is. I'll be right back. Well, I found out what it is. At least what its name is. Uh, the scientific name will be on the screen. I'm not going to try to horribly ruin that name, but it's a neat little spider. It is a male version of the spider. It is a Parson spider. P-A-R-S-O-N spider, or Eastern Parson spider, or also known as a ground spider. It does not spin a web. It eats ground things, pretty much overpowers them, and that's pretty much it. It does have, it does push out uh, webbing, but it's more for safety reasons or to build like little burrows or laying egg sacs. Pretty neat. Uh, a little bit about this spider. It comes from the Greek name of Tuft Thought Time. I don't know. Some type of plant. It's a creeping plant. It's where it got part of its name. Pretty neat. Um, the females are brown. It has brown legs. This one's pretty much all black. With a couple of black lines down the middle. Or down the back of it. Or down its uh, body. Okay, this spider is mostly found in wood habitats. Where it prowls at night and hunts under tree bark, stones, boards, and other objects. During, uh, that's where it hides during the day. So... Putting those in there was actually really, or putting these in here was a really good idea because that's where it hides. I got my room lit up pretty well so I can make this video. Pretty neat. Uh, let's see here. They don't do a web. The food is pretty much prey, can run down, so that's kind of neat. And uh, it lays an egg sack. This one won't, of course. Uh, but if it did, <laughs> the it births it gives birth to a hundred and roughly 130 spiderlings that's kind of crazy that's a pretty neat little spider but yeah it's a parson spider or ground spider scientific name will be uh, uh right down here there you go there's my new pet and i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching take care